it's a pleasure having you here again my friends here on Will Edu Tech. Now in this video we're going to be looking at the solution to question 9a, a typical algebra and relations functions and graphs question taken from the CSEC math exam pass paper uh, questions and solutions uh, January 2012. Now this is question 9a part 1 and this would be one of your first questions that you would have to choose from out of 3 in section 2. All right. Now in part 1 it states make x the subject of the formula y is equal to 2x plus 3 all over x minus 4 and that's an easy 2 marks. So quickly let's just get into that to see uh, how we go about that. I'm just going to pull up the screen a bit. Now my friends, here we have the in the equation y, and let's just rewrite it, y is equal to 2x plus 3 plus 3 all over x minus 4. Now basically, to make x a subject, what we're going to be doing essentially is to take everything, to take everything on one side. For example, I'm going to take everything on the right side of the equation and I'm going to allow x to remain alone on the left side of the equation. That's basically the whole idea behind uh, making a variable or making a letter the subject in an equation. Alright, so let's just quickly get into that. Let's see how we manipulate this. If you notice what is happening here, I have an x minus 4 is uh, is dividing my right side okay so in order to move this x minus 4 I have to do the opposite of division which is multiplication so I'm going to have to multiply both sides of my equation by x minus 4 okay and in an equation for the equation to remain true or balance what you do to one side of the equation you must do it to the next side to the other side of the equation okay so what I did to my right side for example if you notice now I'm doing it to my left side okay so really here I have multiplied both sides by x minus 4 so in essence what is happening here x minus 4 will cancel out with x minus 4 there so really what I'm left with if you notice what is happening now we have x minus 4 multiplying y so we're going to have to remove the brackets on my left side so really typically what I'll be saying here I'm going to say y is being multiplied by negative 4 so y times negative 4 that will give us a negative 4y okay my friends and then I'm going to say now y is multiplying positive x there. So y times x, that will give me a positive xy. Alright, so and this would be equal to, and if you notice, x minus 4 cancelled out. So simply we are left with 2x plus, th plus 3. Now, basically, as I've said, if you notice, uh, on either side of my equation I have terms in x and what do I mean by that if you notice on the left side I have a x times y here and on my right side I have a 2x so I need to group all of my x's so if you notice this is a I'm preferably going to bring all the x's to the left hand side okay and everything else to the right hand just let me give you a thumbs up on that now if you notice the 2x on the right hand side is positive so to bring it across I must do the opposite of addition okay which is subtraction so here I'm going to bring back down my negative 4 my negative 4x because I'm not ready for that as yet so negative 4 sorry my negative 4y so I'm just let me take down my x y also but now I need to move this 2x so when it comes across it's it, it is going to be a negative 2x as I've explained before because we're doing the opposite of addition so on this side now I would have my 2x and what I did was to subtract 2x from both sides okay hope that's useful to you in terms of now if you look carefully you would see that a positive 2x will cancel out with a negative 2x okay my friend so really what I'm left with here now I'm left with I'm just going to take down my negative 4y uh, plus my xy minus my 2x now and that is equal to and these x's the 2x's have cancelled out so I'm simply left with positive 3 okay positive 3 now if you notice I have all my x's on the left hand side now I need to take my y here my minus 4y to this side okay because the objective is to have my x's on this side now let's just quickly get that out of the way if you notice it's a negative 4y so I need to 
add 4y. The opposite of uh, subtraction is addition. So I need to add 4y to both sides. So I'm going to say positive 4y and then I'm taking down my negative 4y. And that is, and, and obviously I would have my xy there and I would have my negative 2x also. So I'm just taking back those two terms down and I have a positive 3 there. Okay, my friends? But now if you notice what I did over here, I have introduced something new, which is to add 4y. So what you did on that side, I have to, what, what I did on that side, now I'll have to do it on my right side. So I'm going to add 4 why okay and, and and this positive sign in front in front of the three please do not let that throw you off um it could have been written as three plus four y okay uh let's sort that out in a short while now we know that four y will cancel out with a negative four y okay leaving us now on this side obviously we would be left with x y minus two x and that would be equal to and simply since all these these terms are positive terms i'm just going to simply write the 4y first so i'll have a positive 4y and i'll have a plus 3 there okay my friends so essentially what is in the previous this this row here it's the same thing as what's here all right i just basically collected my like terms and simplified my equation now basically what we have here if you notice i have a xy minus 2x so if you notice x is common to the first term and x is also common to the second term so basically i can take out an x there uh, mm -hmm. So let's take out what is common. I'm going to take out my x and now let's divide through by x. So I'm going to say x divided into x, y. So x would cancel x leaving us with a y minus because this is a positive and this is a negative. So obviously a positive into a negative will give us a negative. So x into 2x would leave us x will cancel x leaving us with a 2 okay and all of that would be equal to 4y plus 3 now quickly let's let's just take this up to the top here let's just let's just bring that up quickly so here now my friends uh let's just rewrite that i have an x open bracket y minus 2 close bracket which is equal to 4y plus 3. I've just taken up what's at the bottom to what's at the top there. Now, if you notice, my friends, what we did, we have x here is multiplying y minus 2. So if you know, if you, well, by intuition or the whole idea, if you notice, we have a single x on this side now. So basically what we can simply do, since y minus 2 is multiplying, we can do the opposite of multiplication to move the y minus 2, which is division. So we divide through by y minus 2. What you do to one side, you do to the next, okay? So y minus 2 will cancel out with y minus 2, leaving us with an x alone on this side. So we would have an x is equal to 4y plus 3 all over y minus 2. And there you go. We have made x the subject. If you notice, we have in our equation now x is alone on the left hand side so x is equal to everything else on the right hand side all right hope that was useful in the next video we'll be looking at uh, question 9a part 2 where they're asking us to determine the inverse of the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 all over x minus 4 okay so stay tuned bye bye